Power Station at Berkeley NYC presents The Staff Lounge with Ben Miller. Drum roll, please. Employee of the podcast goes to Etika Tello. This redoubtable award bequeaths an all-expenses-paid coffee beverage, a highly preferential parking space, 15 minutes recording in the studio of your choice, except Studio E, and this yacht, yacht not included. <laughs> do I look at the camera or do I look at you? Hi, I'm Etta Catello, and I'm the Administrative Manager at Berkeley NYC. Briefly describe your role. The Administrative Manager on paper. What it is you do. Really, I'm the Jill of all trades. That deals with overseeing our entire finance department. And? A lot of the business operations from paperwork to our construction project that's going on right now. You are definitely the most indispensable. No, it's pretty It's pretty cool, all the departments I get to work with and all the projects I get on. I'm basically in on everything. Is your job now at Power Station something that you expected to be doing? I went to school in Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world, and I majored in music business. It was written in the in the cards, I think, because I have worked all parts of the music industry since I graduated. And I have to say, this is definitely the best out of all of them because it brings together everything. Most importantly, I get to work with education and the creative side. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Well, Ben, you know that I am snack queen. So (laughs) I would have something food related as my superpower. Anyone who needs food, I would have it delivered. Anyone in need, anyone who's hungry, us. (laughs) Apart from working at the studio, you're also an artist in your own right. So I DJ. I've been DJing since 2012. I currently run a radio show called Dub and Affection. That deals with all things influenced by dub music. A lot of people don't know that dub music is the foundation of a lot of popular music, including rock, punk, EDM, hip hop, dubstep. All of that stuff comes from Dub. I'm really, really proud of my um, my radio show and my project because a lot of the inspiration does come from Power Station and our audio engineers. Working at Power Station, I really feel a sense of connectedness to the history of the studio and of music in New York. Power Station is a magical place. I'm so glad that we're preserving it because bedroom studios, that's cool and we all have them, but nothing can match that that specialness that being in a recording studio like Power Station brings. What instrument do you wish you played? The bass guitar. I love bass. I'm obsessed with bass. Can you remember uh, a really special moment or standout session or a day or a project at Power Station that really stuck with you? The days when all of the studios were booked up and (laughs) we all had to be on our P's and Q's (laughs) every single second. And just seeing our, our team members really go into gear and the clients being hungry to create It's almost indescribable. I really can't describe it, but it's really fun. And that's why I think you're the first person of the podcast because you are so important to the team and you aren't always the one being interviewed. Yeah, I'm definitely low key. Any final closing thoughts? I know it's a really tough time um, for everyone, especially for the younger generation who You know, school is in a really weird place right now with having to be in quarantine. Um, But just really stick with it. Use this time to research um, things that you want to do, especially if it's the music industry. There's so many resources out there. Develop new skills and and see exactly what part of the industry uh, you want to be in. Use your time wisely and stay stay inspired. You can hear Etika's music and radio show at soundcloud.com slash Etika.